Hi, this is Milan from Decorative Ceiling Tiles. Today I would like to show you our seamless wall panels, which we are adding to our Alamazon brand. And on our website you can find them under other products and wall panels. So the benefits of these seamless wall panels are that they in fact are seamless once you install them. They do dampen sound and provide insulation. Another benefit for installers is that they don't have to use many tools, they are lightweight compared to other materials, they are easy to paint and they are beautiful. We are going to be installing these to a wall to show you how easy it is with tools that you most likely already have. Level is one of them to uh, make sure that your tiles are in the right place. And everybody pretty much has a measuring tape to measure out your area, to figure out the size of the tiles, pencil, and here is a uh, caulking gun, which we're gonna use for uh, our glue. The right glue, Acfix Instant Grab, number 310. You can find this on our website in, by searching for Instant Grab. It's the glue that you're going to use for your installation. To cut your tiles, you're going to use a long blade razor knife. Make sure it's sharp, so you have a nice clean edge. If your line is straight, we use a straight edge. You lay it on the tile, make your cut, and that's it, that's all for the tools. So the first step of installation is to figure out how many tiles you will need. Our tiles are 23 and a half inches. We sell them in packs of 12, which covers 48 square feet, which is a standard six by eight wall. Now you can contact our consultants to help you with layout. Each layout is different and they will be able to help you to figure out the best way to place your product. So let's get started. So we're just uh, doing our starting point here, making sure that everything is level and then we are going to start gluing our tiles into place. So each, each tile on the back has an arrow which uh, you want to use to uh, follow the pattern. So all the arrows have to point same direction. Now we're going to start um, with a glue. The Instant Grab 310 uh, comes um, with a little nozzle which you have to screw on. But before you do that, cut your opening and then apply the nozzle by screwing it into place. So each uh, tube is roughly for about four, four to six tiles, depending on how many you're gonna put. We want to apply the adhesive around the edges to make sure it holds down nice and tight and your uh, panels are really seamless once you are finished. And we are going to do a cross or, or a other pattern in the middle uh, to assure the middle is also adhered correctly. We are going to uh, go to our starting point and install it the first tile into place. So we chose to go from the middle outwards um, for our particular purpose here. We are going to install two by four panels. So our second tile is going into place. Now this is important here. You want to make sure that you are really lined up with the first tile because this is going to uh, affect how your final product looks like. Softly press your uh, tiles into place. Uh, you don't want to damage them. So make sure your tile is also nice and tight, pressed together, so you don't have any gaps between the tiles. Third piece is going into place. Now, just like with the, with the second piece, it's really important that you match the design precisely because the last tile then will go and be touching uh, both tiles, horizontal and vertical. Fourth tile is going into place and uh, we're making sure that all the edges are lined up, the horizontal part, the vertical part, nice goes together, no seams, just press it into place real nice, you know, test the bottom part and test the sides. Just really make sure it's lined up with the, with, with the other two tiles. The, the nice thing about Instant Grab Adhesive is that it holds the tile instantly in place, but you can still move it around. As you can see, this is a really quick installation and it, it is DIY. It is not a hard thing to do. You don't need many tools. So we are going to be installing our last two tiles on the top. 
And once we're done with that, we start uh, caulking the seams. So these tiles are, um, are three-dimensional, so uh, you can already see where the light hits the tile, how, it, how the light changes and where you have the shadows and how it gives a beautiful uh, accent to a, to a wall. If you want to finish off the wall from edge to edge, there's gonna be some measuring and cutting involved. You want to measure the top and the bottom of each individual tile because it is all going to be unique. All right, so now we're gonna transfer our measurement. This is the side where uh, the tile is, we're going to be touching the other tile. We're making sure that the arrow is pointing up as the rest of the tiles. And now we are going to be transferring the measurement for the top, top of the tile, make a mark, then we do it in the bottom, making another mark, and then we are just going to connect them with our straight edge, lining up the marks, making sure it's exact so that we have no gap on the wall. Then it's important again to have a really sharp blade and a long one as well, just to assure your cut is nice and clean. Now, here is a tip. So first score your tile and then go again and again softly until you have a nice and clean cut. You don't want to force it, essentially is what I'm saying. You don't want to force your cut. You want to let the blade do the cutting rather than you forcing it. Now, once you've cut your tile, you just want to maybe clean off a little excess, make sure everything is nice. And you want to dry fit it to make sure that it fits into place before you put your glue on. Perfect cut. So now you can add your glue and install your uh, first cut tile. Caulk your seams. Uh, we're going to be using water-based uh, caulking. So we're looking at a uh, contrast of a left and right side here. The left is already caulked. As you can see that the seam has disappeared. Now on the right hand side, we have a gap that has not been filled yet. And you can still see the uh, dark hairline, uh, which um, we are going to uh, fill in um, right now so that you can actually see how it goes away. Let, let the coke dry for, uh, you know, give it an hour or half an hour. I would say an hour rather. Um, or follow the instructions on the caulk and then um, you can use water-based paint to uh, paint your seamless wall panel to your desired color. You've seen that it's really easy to install our panel. You can find these panels on decorativeceilingtiles.net and you will see our entire selection. Thanks for watching. Decorative Ceiling Tiles, transforming your ceilings from plain to beautiful in hours.